Well, we got the uh, door all finished, sanded down completely, got spar varnish on it, so it should last for several years now. I want to thank my father-in-law for helping with that. We also went all the way around the door jam, got all of that done, and so at this point, just got to do some adjustments to the door, put the weather stripping on, we'll be done. Our uh, devotional this morning, we talk about what it takes to be redeemed. And we see Brother Mark Clemens here mentions Exodus chapter 12. And it goes back to putting that blood on the door, uh, lintel and post, kind of that covering of the blood. And this is what it really takes to be redeemed. And that was a picture then of that blood and how it was going to atone or cover for us. So we read in our passage today, For as much as you know that you not, were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by the tradition of your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and spot. You've got to be covered by the blood. The Bible says that Jesus was the lamb slain before the foundation of the world. This was the plan of God from the very beginning was to cover. And so I know a lot of people think that they're going to get to heaven in a lot of different ways, but there's only one way, and that's the covering of the blood. And so while this may only last a few years here, if you are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, that will last through eternity. So how do you do that? Well, it's very simple. You have to recognize the situation that you're in. And really, by looking at him, it reflects on where you really are and your need for a Savior, need for deliverance. When we look at our world today, we see that it is very sin sick. When we look at our lives, we see that we have a tendency to not always do the right thing. There's kind of a rebellious spirit, whether it be uh, aggressive or passive within us. And it really is admitting that completely surrendering and yielding all of our lives over to him, which means that we would turn and repent from that and follow after him. How do you do that? Well, you do that in prayer. You completely confess to him and, and yield over your life to him and follow him. Then after that, scriptural baptism, uniting with the Lord's New Testament church, and following him faithfully. So I pray that uh, that's exactly what you've done and you know what it takes to be redeemed. If I can be of help of any way, please reach out. May God bless you. Have a great day.